Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Box for the Technical Trader. It's Wednesday, February 17th. These are the charts of the day. Um, alphabetically, of course, starting off with a uh, stock we've mentioned several times in the last week or two, Ap Acme Packet, APKT. Um, after breaking out of this trading range, flagged for five or six days, broke out two days ago, and has been extending each day. Not by a lot, but the stock certainly is thrusting in terms of on-balance volume and under underlying technicals and all appear to be in go for higher levels. Uh, first lateral line of resistance up around 1650.55. We may reach that tomorrow, <clears throat> but we shall see. The top of the channel is still my goal, up around the uh, low 20s uh, on an intermediate basis. Brigham Exploration continues as one of my favorite junior oils. As you can see, a channel within a larger channel. Uh, the top of that channel uh, it measures around 18, which is also near the all time high, but the long term channel now has a a pr projection in the high 20s, maybe low 30s down the road. That brought some longer, longer term projection. However, due to the underlying strong surge in technicals and um, the, the pattern itself, I think this stock has is destined for higher levels down the road. CAGC, one of the strongest Chinese stocks out there right now. After breaking out of this down channel in January, stair stepped its way up, formed the flag, and the last two days has gapped up each day and, and moved sharply. Moving a dollar two ten yesterday, a dollar seventy five today. That's nearly four points, um, just in the last couple sessions. The top of the channel measures up around twenty five and three quarters. This is all time high territory. Technicals and volume are surging. The stock continues to look great. CFI Culp up eighty two cents today. Was featured last night. Broke out above the uh, fifteen dollar range. Popped up to sixteen oh eight and backed off. But still a very strong session. Um, as you can see, the volume was the heaviest in, in weeks, maybe ever. And uh, this, for a thin stock to trade over half a million shares, uh, sure looks like the momentum is in play here. Short term target 17, 17 and a quarter. CYCC, Stickler Cell, we added to our portfolio today. Um, we, I feel that it's coming out of this consolidation pattern. You can see volume thrusting, technicals start curling upward. Um, although it didn't have a great close today, it traded 13.7 million shares. That's the highest level since <clears throat> mid-January, about a month. And um, if we get any kind of follow-through, the stock should get up and test four pretty quickly. Beyond that, um, the stock could be one of those flyers that sees six, seven, eight bucks um, da down the road, depending on, on uh, news. Finisar, FNSR, also followed through today up another 42 cents. Broke out above the January highs and thrusted with a little bit more volume and technicals. This one has, uh, in my mind, 15, 15 and a half written all over it uh, for my short-term target and more of an intermediate target at this point. I'll redraw the channel and look, call for a move around the 21, 22 zone on an intermediate basis. Houston American Energy has been flying the last couple sessions. Uh, up another dollar twelve today, or eleven percent on six hundred twenty-seven thousand shares. As you can see, a, a pop out of this trading range yesterday accelerated it today. The stock, however, is at the top of its um, six-month rising channel and could see a pullback shortly. But momentum's in play, and uh, we very well might also get a test of the uh, twelve and three-quarter at twelve eighty-five range that it hit back in '08. <clears throat> ISSI continues higher as well, up 11, another 11 cents today, but you can see it nearly up nearly, nearly every day in the last month. Um, with strong volume and technicals, the stock is surging. My um, near-term target is coming up around the nine, nine and a half area. Beyond that, um, if it continues to accelerate, I can see something around 11, 11 and a half. MEND, Micros and the Vascular, very strong channel underway, starting to accelerate volume and technicals as well. Look, I think the stock could spike up into the uh, mid 20s, somewhere around the 23, 25 zone um, short term. Beyond that, uh, we'd look for a longer term test. Uh, by the way, this 25 and three quarter zone is all time high territory, so a move across that level could really send it spiking higher into all time high, no overhead territory. Momentum Pharmaceuticals, MNTY. Continues one of my favorite patterns with a long base, a breakout flag, another acceleration. Current flag is now about to be broken, it appears. The stock was up another 44 cents today, 481,000 shares, up 3%.
but it looks like it's about to bust. Um, at least retest the high at 1645. We may get that as early as tomorrow. But the top of the channel, as I've drawn it in, calls for a move to the 19 and a half 20 zone on an intermediate basis. Nectar Therapeutics, also one of my favorite junior bios, bro finally broke out of the flag, started to slowly move up higher, and today accelerated 47 cents for the new three-year high today. And um, with the next target up around the uh, 14 level, followed by something around uh, 17, potentially doable at the top of the channel here, as you can see, maybe 17 and a half. Netlist, one of our all favorites, finally came to life today, although it did back off late in the session. Yesterday, it popped through the 10 and 21 day moving averages. Today, it ran up to test the declining tops line and backed off, but um, still on rising volume, 2.26 million, the heaviest volume in a month or five, three weeks anyway. It appears that there's a possibility the Netlist may try to come out of this declining channel that it's been in for now the last three months, and a break out of that could send this stock soaring up towards the um, $6 level, which would be my initial uh, trading target on that list. <clears throat> PCYC continues to move nicely after breaking out of this four-day bull flag. Yesterday it popped, today another $0.19. Cents. But the stock set multi-year highs and beautiful rising channel. The top of that channel measures around the six and three-quarter level. That's my initial trading target. Beyond that, eight and a half, nine. Sketches USA, SKX. Finally broke out of the wedge that it's been in for the last month and a half, two months. Um, volume picked up to the best level in four weeks today, and the stock jumped a dollar. Um, if it gets over 31.62, I could see the stock accelerating higher. A target in the, in the 40, 41 range is very doable, in my humble opinion. <clears throat> Taser had an interesting day today. Noticed a, um, a big base pattern, coil type pattern for a year, broke out. Pulled back in an orderly fashion and a one, two, three, three wave corrective decline. Uh, made a, a low above the gap and above the moving average. Slowly moved up and today accelerated to the upside by 46 cents, breaking out of the across its moving averages and price resistance, picking up volume, uh, the heaviest volume in about five, six weeks. So uh, if it takes out 669, which is that double top in mid January, then I think this stock could accelerate to the $8 level. Ultra Clean Holdings had a very significant day technically today. You can see that it was in a trading range for the last uh, four months. It broke out on very heavy volume, the heaviest volume in months uh, um, since last June. Although it closed right at significant resistance, a move here, uh, and then an additional move can get this to the um, 11 and a half area, followed by a move, additional move to my secondary target around 14. And lastly, VCI, which uh, is being squeezed higher. Uh, and, and moving up nearly every day here, and, and the technicals are improving as well. We're right, we're right approaching key resistance near 27, but a move through that should get us into the low 30s. That's it for tonight. Good luck with some of those ideas, and uh, we will talk to you soon.